In this video, we're gonna take a look at this iFootage M30 ball head. This is a really neat ball head that actually has a clamp that can use both Arca style plates and Manfrotto 501 style plates. So this is a really cool piece of equipment that can streamline your setup quite a bit by allowing you to use one ball head and accept multiple plates at the same time. This ball head feels really high quality. All the knobs and levers are easy to use. All the components just feel super solid like all the other iFootage gear. It's also really smooth to pan with when you have it attached to a tripod. A lot of cheaper ball heads don't have a very smooth panning action on them, but this one actually pans pretty smoothly. I picked this up used and it didn't come with the original Arca style plate that iFootage has for it, but I've been testing it with a couple different Arca plates, some of the Peak Design plates, and a couple of different Small Rig 501 style plates, and it has a very good compatibility range with a lot of them. Another thing that's really unique about this is it has a lever lock to lock down on a tripod plate. This is cool because it allows you to adjust the amount of tension using an Allen key through this side. I will say this can be a slight drawback to this ball head because you need to have an Allen key with you if you're going to change from using the 501 style plate to the Arca style plate because very few of the plates that I had, you could go straight from Arca to 501 without having to tighten the clamp just a little bit or loosen it a little bit. So to put the 501 plates on, you'll need to push this button in and then you can set the plate down on it and then you can lock it into place. Also notice that iFootage notched this lever out so that a plate can slide through forward or backwards, which that's what's really cool about the 501 plates. You can adjust the center of gravity on it. Now, you will notice that on this plate, I haven't tightened the lever all the way, and so it can slide. So when you're going back and forth from the Arca style plates to the 501 plates, you will need to get in and use the Allen screw to tighten it. So then to remove, you just loosen that, and then you push the button in, and you can pull the plate off. Here's an older Joby Arca plate and it works just fine on it. Again, when we changed over from the Manfrotto plate to this one, we do need to tighten it just a little bit to keep it in snug. Here's one of the standard peak plates and I've had really good luck with the standard ones. This one actually needs to be loosened a little bit to fit properly. Unfortunately, I was unable to make the peak dual plates work on this. If you try to go this way, it's just a little bit too wide to sit in it. And if you go sideways, it's too long to fit that way. So you can't use the peak dual plates that are compatible with the Manfrotto RC2 as well as the Arca plates, unfortunately. Here we've got a small rig cage that has an integrated Arca plate on the bottom. This cage fits the ball head really well, but we do have to tighten the lever a little bit. My biggest complaint with the M30 is I just wish there was a way that you could adjust the tightness of the clamp without having to pull out an Allen wrench because it is a little bit annoying to have to carry one around with you if you're changing between different plate types. So overall, this is a really great ball head. Just know that you'll probably have to adjust with the side Allen screw depending on the different type of plates you're using, but it's super easy to use high quality overall, and I really recommend this ball head for users who wanna be able to use both Manfrotto 501 plates and Arca plates with one ball head. If you're interested in buying this iFootage M30 ball head, I have links in the description below. Also, if you have any other questions about this ball head, leave a comment down below, I'll do my best to answer them.